And in this video, I'm going to show you how to program your CS20 to use a Leica Smart Connect cellular service. Smart Connect is provided in the United States through Leica SmartNet, and it provides AT&T cellular service for your controller or GS antenna. In this case, I'm going to show you how to program your controller for uh, the service. So I'm going to show you how to do this through a, an RTK profile. There are other ways to do this th simply through the internet. I like to use an RTK profile because that allows me to reload the profile should something happen to a data collector and it lose connection. So in this case, I'm going to go to settings, I'm going to go to connections, go to RTK Rover Wizard, I'm going to create a new profile. I'll give it a name, call this Smart Connect. You don't, you don't need to do a description on this. So I'll press next. We'll set this to use the internet on your controller. I'm not connected to my GPS antenna, so I'll just continue on through this screen. I will select the CS modem as my option. Now Leica has several different CS20 options with um, the GSM modems installed. I do need to note that our largest cellular provider here in the United States, AT&T, has announced that they will be discontinuing 2G and 3G cellular service in February of 2022. Um, so just need to make you aware of that. You will need at that time to come up with another way to connect to the internet with your older like a CS20 controllers. So anyway, we're going to select CS modem and you're going to select uh, the GSM device. Now this will look different depending on the controller that you have. Um, some of the older controllers will only show you GSM UMTS as a device and your your name of your device here may be different. So again, the key here is to select the GSM the UTM UMTS device and press next. So you don't need a pin or a puck code here for uh, the, to work in the United States. So we'll press next. Then you want to make sure that you select using GPRS CDMA internet connection. Press next. You do need an AT, APN command. When you receive your Smart Connect SIM card, you will have a folder. The SIM, the APN command will be listed uh, beneath the SIM card holder. Uh, just make sure you remove that uh, SIM card very carefully. You'll be able to see that that APN is going to be the same for all of our devices. I usually put this in in lowercase. It's going to be M2M005125.attz. Need to make sure you enter that exactly as it's written on the card. Press enter and then select next. So now I'm going to create a new server for SmartNet. For your server details, you'll need to log into your SmartNet account. And then you there will be a page there where you can look at your connection settings. If you need help with that, please reach out to your support team or your uh, local dealer or sales rep. And they can help you get this set up. So in this case, I'm going to create a new server. I'm working here in the... Uh, in the mid-Atlantic, so I'll call this SmartNet. This picked up on some old details. If you want to use an IP address to connect to SmartNet, you can use the IP address shown here, or you can use a domain name that is specific to the state that you're working in or the region that you're working in. I'm working in Virginia, so I'll punch in a VA for Virginia, then .smartnetna.com. Typical port number for newer equipment is 10,000. Again, please check your connection settings. And then what you want to do is make sure that you check uh, use Intrip with this device and then key in the Intrip username that you were provided by SmartNet. And then key in your password. If you need to see what that is, you can hit the box here to display your password. Uh, then we're going to press next. Uh, it tells me that SmartNet, that name already exists, so I'll just add a number here. Press next. Then I'm going to select a mount point from a source table. This is a good check on whether you have an internet connection. So I'll press next. With the newer gear that's full GNSS, when we connect to SmartNet, we recommend that you use MSM IMAX uh, as your mount point. This will give you corrections from the satellite system shown. Um, and then we, you want to select the box here that says receive RTK corrections and set your network type to IMAX. You definitely need, when you're connecting to SmartNet, to check the box here that says send GGA message. 
Press Next. Uh, set your RTK data format to RCCM V3. Again, this is for newer equipment. If you have older equipment that you're connecting to SmartNet, please check the connection settings because these may be different. You can program your unit to receive RTK depth network information. This will come up and show you that when you are connected. I usually set this to show and log. I press next. And then if you're outside and have your GNSS antenna turned on, when you get to this screen, it will try to uh, test your connections. Go ahead and do that. And then make sure that you press finish to save. And you're done. You're ready to use Smart Connect.